Deb, um, you're missing Shane now also tonight. Um, like, is that, it's showing immediately, you feel like what, what you thought these guys would, would bring you? Yeah, you know, we were, I mean, we were down to nine scholarship players tonight, right? You had four guys that were out. Um, and you see it, right? We're playing a freshman, 25 minutes. I thought Dylan came in and gave us a great 10 minutes. You know, everybody's role, like even Matteo, I know his minutes were low tonight. He had a huge shot. Like, everybody's got to realize on this team, we talked about it, and I, I said the other night, we have so many guys that could go get 20. But how can you impact winning if you're not going to get 20? And I think that's what we saw tonight. Our group came together, uh, and, and it's a big five, right? Like, you're not going to beat anybody by 30. Like, these are going to be battles. Our guys knew that they were going to go on a run. They made great adjustments. So I think the versatility and how deep we are showed tonight. Coach, they got it down to three pretty late in the game there, and then you just kind of stayed in, and you mentioned battling adversity. What did you see tonight that showed you how this team can handle adversity down the road? Yeah, you know, I, I, we talk about it all the time. You have to be elite communicators. I thought uh, we were really good in the first half, like a six-minute stretch, and then I thought we were really good with about three minutes to go in the game. And they went on a nice run. They hit some threes. Um, and I think we talk about all the time, you got to be cool, calm, and collective. Right? Like we're not going to try to get sped up. We work on end of game every day. There's a drill called red zone. Um, and that's what we yell in the huddle. Hey, this is red zone. Here we go. We work on being up whatever, down whatever. Uh, and a great credit to these guys. You know, I think they did a really nice job late game of being under control, being cool, calm, and collective. And what we're seeing in that low dealing with the latest job? Yeah, uh, Mo hurt a finger yesterday in practice. Uh, Shane, uh, something on his foot, so I hope that has more information, but uh, he tried to go today and couldn't go. You know, just have to wait and see if you'll have them on Friday. Yeah, yeah, I know they'll probably meet with Dr. either tonight or tomorrow and we'll see what we can do for Friday. How about Elijah, what was he It's a great question. Uh, he's doing well. Um, you know, we, we hope that he'll be back for Friday night if we have a goal, but we just keep listening. Whatever the doctors tell us, we're gonna do. Coach, you guys are now going to go through a stretch where you won't be at home until December 10th. Going to go all the way to BC and then all the way to Connecticut for two games. How are you going to prepare for being away from home for so long? You know, I, I think that's what good teams do, right? You have to go into non-conference play away from home. And good teams take care of your games at home, right? So we had two in November, we took care of that. And now we've got to go on the road. Um, you know, we've done it at a neutral site. This will be our first opportunity uh, to go do it in a true road game against an ACC school. Um, so, you know, it's, it, we're trying to build our team so that we can play meaningful games in March. And that's why the schedule is set up this way. Uh, the challenge is to be away from home and things of that nature. Coach, specifically about this game, what did you like? And what do you like about the way you're playing right now early in the season? I like that we won. It's a lot easier to learn <laughs> from a win, right? Um, but no, I, you know, it's, it's other guys stepping up. And I'll be honest, I've been really hard on Zion Stanford. He was being really nice. I told him in practice, I've been screaming at him because I think he can be so good. Um, and he, he just, you know, he doesn't talk back. He just is like, gotcha, coach. I'll be better. I'll, I'll, let me work on this. Let me see that again. Uh, so I, I'm really proud of him. I thought he set the tone tonight. And look, we got to clean up the rebounding. I know it. Offensive rebounding, we're giving up almost 16 a game. It's, it's not enough. So, you know, we want to continue to work on that. But I thought at the end of the game, we came up with key rebounds, and that was huge. So, um, again, keep working, but proud of these guys for – sticking together you know again you look at jamal mashburn jr wasn't making a lot of shots early so if he doesn't have it going we need other people it's not just the mashburn jr show he's phenomenal but this is a team and he's the first one to say hey let me get you open let me try to get you going so uh, that's what i thought i thought we really played great team basketball tonight. i know you guys are focused on bc and zion the next game I'm going to give you the exact same answer, just, Aaron. To be, I, the, to be in the position, though, to be one and know in the You big can five. call me two days before we play LaSalle. I'll talk to you. But I, I know it sounds so coach talk, but for us, we made a commitment before the year. We're going to focus on each day. And I tell them, these 31 opportunities you get to play are, are the most fun. Like, you get two hours tonight where nothing else matters. You just get to go hoop with your friends. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. The hard days are all the 6 a.m. lifts going to class all day, then going to study hall, handling your academics and practice. Those are hard. This should be fun and a little bit easier on them. So uh, I give you the coach talk answer. I'm sorry, but that is our focus. It's tomorrow. But I promise you, I will call you two days before LaSalle. You have my word, yeah. and we'll talk about it. Here we go with three more questions. Yeah, when you get to the last minute there, I mean, this is the first time tonight we're kind of protecting really late. Uh, Mash could 
seemed like he got real crafty, got himself to the line. Like, you've got total sort of comfort level already with him running. Yeah, steady you and know, obviously he, he's a proven guy in college basketball. I thought he did a great job of being strong with the basketball. They were really reaching at the end and, and to be able to protect the basketball, um, draw two defenders and get to the foul line, and then knock down his free throw. So uh, I thought he was phenomenal late game. Adam, if you, if you get Elijah on Friday, how much could he help with the rebounding? Or how much would you be counting on him as, as a rebounder? Yeah, yeah, we kept on him to be a big rebounder for us. You know, I thought Baba had a great night uh, with the nine rebounds. But, you know, it's another guy that, you know, we went off in the offseason, right? You hope to get him and Mo, two guys you thought were really going to help with rebounding. Um, so we hope the more bodies, we can talk about all the time. We just want to keep getting better, getting healthier, so we have all our guys available. Uh, but those two guys will both help with rebounding. And so does Shane Dizoni, right? Shane's a great rebounder with him being out. So all three of those guys. Both one more question. Going back to Zion for one second, I mean, he's one of those guys that you talked about that can go out and give you 20, but sometimes that might not be what you need. What is, what, what are things that he can do to show you going through the season that he wants to stay out there on the floor and get your trust down the stretch? He's shown it. He's already done that. He's already earned our trust. We have full trust in Zion. Um, you know, it, it's it's what you saw tonight. He's done it in postseason play, right in the conference tournament. He did it here tonight. He played. 37 minutes, so he's earned that. He, he knows that. Um, it's just the consistency, and I think he's been really taking big steps in that in that department. Okay, thank you. Appreciate everyone's time. Thanks. Thanks.